Hello! After finishing our application in the final section of the course, we will learn how to create a production deployment to serve our application to the public. In this section, we will quickly discuss the different options you have for deploying your Django application. We will then demonstrate how to create an account on Heroku and finally how to prepare your application for deployment on Heroku. First, I will say a few words about the possible deployment options you have for your Django application and then I will show you how to set up an account on Heroku. When you want to deploy your Django application to production, you basically have two options. The first option is to use a platform as a service provider such as Heroku or Python Anywhere. The advantages of using such a platform as a service provider that they are quite easy to use, they are very fast to set up and it's quite comfortable to deploy your application. The other option is to configure your own web server. This would usually then be a virtual machine, can also be a physical system. This can save you some money, but you will spend a lot more time configuring and maintaining your system. And that's the reason why I usually recommend that you go with the first option and use a platform as a service provider. Even if you spend a few dollars more per month on hosting, it's usually worth it because it saves you a lot of time. And for this reason, we will use Heroku to deploy our application in the screencast. So in this video, I will show you how to set up an account on Heroku. Just open heroku.com in your web browser and then you will see a button here labeled sign up for free. And then you just fill out this form and then you confirm your email address. So check your email and follow the activation link. After activating your account, you can then sign in to Heroku. And after logging in, you are presented with a dashboard that should look like this. And here, of course, we select Python. And then the Heroku Python tutorial will open in the browser. This tutorial assumes that we are starting with the Heroku Python example application, but because we already have our application written, we will not follow this tutorial here. However, the first step of the tutorial also applies to our app, so we will follow this one. And to do that, we simply click on I'm ready to start here. And then here we go to download the Heroku CLI 4. And in my case, I select Debian Ubuntu because that's the system I'm using. And then we click on the download button. Okay. And then you see a few shell commands. You can copy and paste these commands into your terminal to install the Heroku CLI tools. After you have done this, you should be able to execute the command Heroku login and then you just enter the email address and the password you use to register with Heroku. You are probably already using Git for version control of your Django project. Just in case you are not using Git so far, here are the absolute minimum Git commands you need to set up your repository. I'm showing you these Git commands here because you will have to have a working Git repository in order to be able to deploy to Heroku. So if you have not used Git for version control so far, please um, set up a Git repository for your project by executing these commands. If you are totally unfamiliar with Git so far, I recommend that you Google for some Git tutorial and learn the basics of Git. Okay, with that out of the way, we can now create a Heroku application for our Django project by running Heroku create. Okay, you should get some output that looks similar to this. And the important thing to note here is the URL. This is randomly generated by Heroku and you should copy paste this URL somewhere because you will need it later. That's it for this video. 